welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. And we would love it if you would subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. We have our April favorites today. We have lots to discuss, lots of good products, so let's get into it. Okay, so I hadn't purchased new sunglasses in years, probably like at least three years, and mine are just some polarized sunglasses from H&M. They were like really cheap, and I like them, but I just wanted something new, but I want polarized sunglasses because they're just better for your eyes. And I was served an Instagram ad for this brand called Meller, and I decided to pick up two pairs because they were doing buy one, get one free, and I ended up liking both of them, which is really hard to pick sunglasses online, but I don't know the names of the frames like off the top of my head, but I'll link them down below. Um, these ones are my favorite. They're like a tortoise with green lenses. Yeah, I really like them. They're those. like really like 90s, and I should say, like I think I got both of these pairs for like $60 total for like a deal. And then these ones I also really like, and these are actually, they were technically more expensive because they're made with recycled water bottles, which is really cool. So they're like a little bit more eco-friendly. And these I also really like. They're a little bit thinner, but like rounder, obviously. They're just a little bit tighter on my head. So I haven't been wearing them as much, but I do like these ones too. So overall, I'm really pleased. Like I feel like the quality feels nice for the price. Like I don't think they're like the nicest sunglasses ever. These feel like a little bit more substantial but again these are made with a water bottle so i think they're like there's no way to make them like as rigid as the plastic of this um but i like them both a lot and would recommend this brand if you're looking for new affordable polarized sunglasses okay i have a skincare favorite so it's funny because i tried this years ago like two years ago um i bought this and i ended up returning it because i just didn't feel like it was like moisturizing enough for my skin but it's been pretty hot here in LA and I've been loving this. So um, they sent this to us in this like cute, really cute PR mm -hmm. box because I don't know if it was just celebrating how many units they've sold. Yeah, like, well, I think it, they made it like a dew point day because they've sold so many. Yeah, so there's like different sizes I think now. it's their best seller, yeah. Yeah, so I think, yeah, so this is the Versed Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. And yeah, I think it's Versed, like their best selling product um, since they launched the brand which is really fun and it says green tea extract plus aloe leaf juice um and yeah there's really good things in here and it is like a gel cream texture but i love that it's a gel cream in a tube for mm -hmm. one because most gel creams i feel like are in a jar so it's like really easy to dispense um it's two fluid ounces so it's not too big so it'd actually be really nice for like traveling too but like i said now they have those other mm -hmm. like little mini sizes which is so cute um but I really love how this feels on my skin when it is hot and my T-zone gets oily because this, it does moisturize. It's not like a super heavy moisturizing cream, but it moisturizes enough and it wears super well under makeup. And I just like that for like my combination skin. It keeps my cheeks pretty plump, but like my T-zone doesn't get extra oily, yeah, which like I so find. so for oily skin, it would probably work really yeah, well. Like yeah, like I find um, with other, like even moisturizers that are made for combo skin, that doesn't really happen. So I just think this works really well and I'm really happy that I gave it another go. So always retry products because I yeah. feel like sometimes you don't like something and then you try it later and you're like, wow, oh, your skin really changes changed. too. Yeah. Okay, next up is, well, I'll just talk about this because it's so random, but it's really, I didn't even know Britta didn't own this. Yeah, I I, I've owned it for seven years, I think. I saw Taylor Wynn talk about this right before the Sephora sale. So I'm like, I'm gonna pick this up. It's the NARS pencil sharpener, it's like $7. And I just don't love my pencil sharpener. You know, they get really gross as the years mm -hmm. go on. And I love this one. Like, I feel like it works really well. It has this nice little lid. It's sleek, matte, black. I can't say enough good things for, like, how cheap it is. Did you, you even know I had the little thing to clean it? What does this do? So you take it out, and then you can... This comes out. Oh. And you, it's a little pick to, like, clean it. Isn't oh, that cute. cute? I know. It's the oh. best pencil sharpener. I've literally yeah. had mine for like seven years. Should I be replacing it more often? Maybe. Well, no, mine just got so dirty. Mm -hmm. But like this one hasn't even gotten dirty and I've used it a lot. Yeah. I don't know, you best. guys. It's good and you can get it on Sephora for like pretty cheap in my opinion. So yeah. I had to mention it. And it has the two sizes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they, they all have that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I talked about this in our, what we're going to buy in the Sephora sale and also our get ready with us. Well, I talked about a lot of these. Um, what we did buy during this forest sale, so I won't harp on it, but it's a Pat McGrath, what are these called? I never remember. Skin, Say blush. Skin Fetish Divine Blush in the shade Flirtatious. This is like my new favorite powder blush. I'm wearing it right now. I love how like sheer buildable it is. It doesn't 
go on super strong. You can really build it up and it's powder, but this powder is like so thin. It just like melts into your skin and I feel like out of all the powder blushes I've tried, it looks like your skin, like a cream would. Um, like it's very undetectable and I love that so much. And this is one of the matte shades and usually I feel like matte blushes are like very apparent on your cheeks and I just love how this truly blends in. Um, and the color is like truly neutral. It goes with everything. I'm really obsessed and I'm so, so, so happy I finally picked it up. And the imprint is just like stunning. Like these blushes are beautiful. I will say, I have one complaint. The packaging is like already broken. It's like loose when you close it like the closure is very weak and it looks kind of cheap yeah this is an expensive blush mm -hmm. so i was disappointed by that i'm not gonna lie um but the actual blush itself is 10 out of 10. okay i also have a blush favorite that i haven't talked about because i got this with my my third sephora order during the sale because it came back in stock but it's a vera minerals bronzer or well, what do they call it a bronzer, bronzer. In Kiss of Rose, everyone talks so highly of these. You guys know we love Bare Minerals. I like their normal matte blushes a lot. But this one is like a shimmery blush, mm -hmm. essentially, like a highlighter blush in one. The formula actually reminds me a lot of the M Cosmetics blushes mm -hmm. because I feel like these are kind of pigmented like those, like go in with a light hand. But they just give, I'm wearing it today, and I'll insert a swatch. But it just gives like the prettiest glow to the cheeks. I'm not even wearing highlighter because you don't you have to wear highlighter with it. And it blends out so effortlessly. It lasts really well on the skin. This color, Kiss of Rose, I feel like it's the perfect like spring summer blush. They had two other shades that didn't really speak to me in the way that this one did. So I'm glad I got this shade. And I hope that they expand the shade range now that they brought these back because I will buy multiple shades because I love that it just gives like a sheen to the skin without being overly highlighted, overly metallic. It's just beautiful. Yeah, they should totally release those in like ones that lean more brown, like tawny, like I know. actual bronzers. Yeah. Like that would be really yeah, nice. Yeah, I would, I would do that. lose my, lose it over Yeah, because that. that looks pretty. It looks really pretty. Yeah. Okay, I know this might be shocking because I barely own any eyeshadow palettes, but I have- No, didn't we decide you own more than me? When we went to go pull for that reel, um, well, these are like new, so I pulled them. Both. Oh, I guess it was my issue was all of mine are like Dis not available anymore. Yeah. yeah, and I like don't really have any old ones, yeah. so that's probably why. But um, so yeah, I'm getting into eyeshadow palettes again, like small, small ones, and I have two favorites this month. Um, this one I bought during this for sale. It's the Dior palette in soft cashmere i love this i talked about it a lot in our get ready and i used it in that video so we'll link that video down below and i'll insert swatches so you can see what this looks like but it's like a minky cool tone palette like they're all these sort of like minky browns um the middle one is like neutral and then i'd say the other three browns like these three are pretty cool toned and then this one is like a glitter topper which i will never use i just <laughs> Not my thing, though the rest of the shades are literally perfection. And this is my first time trying this Dior eyeshadow formula and I really love it. Like like I said in that video, um, as long as I wear like a base, it lasts all day. Um, they look like really elevated and pretty for shimmers. Like I just am so happy I got this palette. I really, really love it. Um, really think it's worth the money. And then the other one is the M Cosmetics eyeshadow palette in the shade or in the it's the rodent palette um so i have this on my eyes today and again i think this is so pretty so this is more neutral leaning maybe like a little warm um so less cool tone than the dior one but i really love it i have this like sparkly rose gold shade all over my lid today and that reminds me of the shade that i love in the anastasia self glam oh palette. yeah i mean i usually I don't like called. glitter shades but this is like well it's like a soft shimmer. yeah it's like really I soft say that's a glitter yeah i mean the the pearls are pretty large mm -hmm. but um it's really pretty um and then this like metallic brown i love the matte shades in this palette um the brown is like a perfect neutral brown this middle one is like a rosy neutral brown and then like a deep neutral brown like you know me neutral makeup my favorite and then the satin in this palette is like a satin champagne and it's really again neutral and beautiful so really love this palette also 10 out of 10 recommend they're both really good you can't go wrong with either okay so lights lacquer kathleen lights nail polish brand recently rebranded and they relaunched their polishes in these cute 
square bottles with the white logo where before it had like the black logo and black cap and I love this idea like I feel like you can just see the color so much better they look so chic they're so cute it's the same brush um, and then it has the little like lights logo in, in the cap just really like luxurious so and cute. chic very timeless I would say um, and they finally brought back Caramello which was my favorite kale polish shade ever and she was never able to like release it with white lacquer. Well, I mean until now. Like I know it took her a while to get the shade right. And so I'm so happy to have it back in my life because this is like my favorite fall color. It was the first one that I used. I ordered a few polishes. Um, the ones that I repurchased in this bottle because I just use so much are Lila, which Carly and I are both wearing on our nails mm -hmm. now. I really loved Emma, which was more of like the yellow toned nude. But this one I wear the most. It's like a cool tone like mauve yeah. nude would you yeah. say i love it I, I can wear it on my toes on my nails and so i wanted it in the new branding because like i said i use it so much and then i also repurchased cold turkey which is my favorite toenail polish color i i didn't brand out here but i'll link that one down below too and then i tried a new a couple new shades but caramello i have to like shout from the rooftops because i'm so happy that it's back um and then i also tried the cuticle oil but i'm still like testing that out so tbd on that but i also had to mention this because it's the cutest thing i've ever seen it's the light slacker polish potion it's a non-acetone nail polish remover and i will say i usually use acetone to remove my nail polish because i'm lazy and i just need it done quickly but this one actually i mean it's not like as strong as acetone obviously but i don't wear glittery shades usually so I don't really need acetone remover. This one works perfectly fine. I actually love, well, I mean, first of all, I love the bottle. It's like this super cute soft touch HTPE bottle. And I love that this is like a good design. Whoever like designed this um, bottle structure, because as you can see, like the neck of the bottle is so tall that I feel like it helps to keep this in and like have it not leak anywhere. Like I actually think you could travel really easily with this. And there's like a stopper in the cap. And I really love that the orifice is really small because it dispenses like the perfect amount. I think Terry can smell it. <laughs> I'm going to cap it back up. But it dispenses the perfect amount of product onto a cotton rod. And then I can also put like a Q-tip on top of here and just like squirt a little bit onto a Q-tip because it is so precise. So overall, like the functionality of this bottle is really good as well. And like thought through, it's not just super cute. So I wanted to mention this too because it's actually pretty affordable in my opinion for like how cute it is i know i can't stop saying that but i love it okay so next up is this eye brush set so i think there's like an eight or nine total i didn't bring them all out here but it's the jessup um eye makeup brush set that i got on amazon and the handles are really cute they're like this uh, matte cream but they do get very dirty i want to call that out do your um morphe ones do that no yeah i mean these are much more affordable than the morphe ones that they look like well where do you keep them i guess laying down in a drawer. Okay, that's how I keep them too. Um, but it doesn't really bother me, but so far I really like these brushes. Like I've washed them once and they haven't gotten like deformed or they don't shed. Um, the filament is really soft. I like all the shapes that come with it. My favorites are like this big fluffy brush. Like I use this one to just throw a shade mm -hmm. from the M palette in my crease today. And then um, I really like this little like detail brush because I've never really had one like this. You probably can't see, but it's like a little smudger brush. And yeah, I've never really had a brush like that. So I really like it. And I will say I bought this when it was like $19 for the set, which is a really good deal for a brush set that comes with like multiple brushes. Now when I looked on Amazon today, it's like up to $24. So I don't know if they're going to keep increasing the price. But good deal though. yeah, it's a good deal and I'm happy with them and I wanted to call them out. Okay, my book favorite this month <laughs> was such a good book, you guys. I gave it five out of five stars on Goodreads. It, it ends with us by Colleen Hoover. And it's so funny to me because we literally, in that whole book like recap we did recently, we were both like, we don't like to read to feel sad. We don't really like when things are like too heavy. And this book is potentially the heaviest book I've ever read. Like parts of it were actually hard to read. But I was just captivated the whole time. Like, Colleen Hoover, her writing is just insane. Like, so, so, so good. Um, and it basically is about this girl named Lily. And she moves to Boston to start her own business. Well, she starts a floral shop. Um, and even before she starts this shop, 
she one night finds herself on this roof. I guess I don't want to, I just read the synopsis because I don't want to give like too much away. But she meets this guy named Ryle and he's not like a relationship guy but they like were going to hook up but he has to leave because he's a doctor and he was on call. But then like years later they meet again and the spark is still there. Um, they start dating and he's kind of like slowly turning into a relationship guy. But then it also goes back in time to Lily's first boyfriend named Atlas who was, <laughs> I don't think this is giving too much away, but he was homeless and he basically like moved into the house behind her parents' house. And so it started off, like the relationship started off with her like bringing him blankets and um, then she would like let him shower at their house when her parents were gone. And it like slowly obviously turned into an actual relationship and just like this really deep love that they had for each other. And then as adults, um, Atlas like comes back into her life and so I, I don't want to give too much away, but I just will say that it ends with us. I didn't know really what the title was about. And it ends with us is meant to say like the domestic violence cycle ends with us as in like Lily and her daughter. So again, I don't want to give like too much away, but so emotional. I like found myself tearing up multiple times. Lily was written so well. Like I was just rooting for her the whole time. An insanely strong protagonist. Like as a female character. I want this to be a movie because I just like want to watch this play out on screen because I feel like Lily, like I feel like all women who find- Isn't it going to be? Oh, maybe, I don't know. Didn't, um, what's his name by the rights to it? Oh, maybe, I hope so. But I just feel like if you ever find yourself in a situation like Lily did, I mean, it's truly like tragic and so awful, but the way that she handled everything with such grace and dignity and self-respect was amazing. And then I read that Colleen Hoover actually molded yeah, Justin this. Justin Baldoni. Oh, really? Yeah, he bought the rights. Okay, so it is going to be a movie. Mm -hmm. That's great news. Um, well, then I read that Colleen Hoover based the story the story off of her parents' relationship, which also broke my heart. But anyway, just read it. I, it's, it is super heavy, but it's such a good story. It's such a good book. And I feel like it just, it's very like eye-opening to the world that they're like speaking to. And just, I guess the world in general, honestly. And again, it's like really disheartening and sad, but really, really fantastic book. I don't have a book favorite this month. I read one and it wasn't the best. So it wasn't amazing. I think like five out of five stars are definitely worth mentioning. Well, we'll just do, yeah, like our book review again. Like yeah. in like a few months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to mention we started to do like a, did we say quarterly? Yeah, we're going to try to do a quarterly. Yeah, quarterly like top three, bottom three. Top mm -hmm. two, bottom two? Top yeah. three, bottom three um, books we read that quarter. So if you like all the book talk, we'll keep doing those videos. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you had a great April. I can't believe it's just about May. That is wild. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.